You know, Eric Ten Hag said it best when he said that eras come to an end and that Liverpool team's era is at an end. An absolute demolition job in the Champions League by Real Madrid tonight cannot be overlooked in what has been a ridiculously poor season for Liverpool. What next? Um, well, we'll discuss that. But ultimately, you, if, if anybody is floundering or struggling with Liverpool's demise, look at where you were last season. A quadruple was on. Three cup finals and a last day chance to win the league. Yes, Man City won the league. Yes, Real Madrid beat them in the Champions League. But that was a team firing on all four cylinders. This team, a year later, is out of every tournament that they can win a cup in. Um, and they're fighting for fourth place. Liverpool can still get fourth. I feel they have to get fourth. Maybe the Jude Bellingham transfer and their rebuild rests on that. But ultimately, from going four opportunities to win, to a, to win a trophy to zero opportunities, you can't just sweep that under the carpet. This Liverpool team needs major renovation. Um, this Liverpool team needs major work. But under no circumstances, and I will be stunned... And I know a few Liverpool fans. I will be stunned and would file it under the it idiot category of Klopp needs to go, Klopp out. There, there will be some Pratt who talks about it. You know there will. There will be people phoning up. There will be ex-players. There will be media outlets. But it is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm not a Liverpool fan. But I know how Liverpool fans work. Manchester United fans work the same way. If Sir Alex Ferguson was having a difficult time, and sometimes he did, the, the work, you know... If United, if United won the league one year and the next year we had a bad league, it wasn't time to go for Sir Alex. There might be mutterings about, is he losing it? Is he losing his powers? Is this the beginning of the end? But that would always be decided by Sir Alex. And what he would do is he would rebuild the team. He would keep some of the players, he would move some of the players on and he would rebuild it. And he did it four times in his time at Manchester United. Jurgen Klopp is in that position. If he wants to walk, he will be allowed to walk. It will be his choice. But he's never going to be sacked and, he and the conversation about sacking him should never be there. He still is one of the best managers in the world. What's, what the problem Jurgen Klopp has got is he cannot compete with the Pep Guardiola's of this world who can spot a problem and change it and bring players in and know. Um, Liverpool were left short in the summer. They'd had a ridiculously difficult season that damaged the squad physically and mentally. Um, and they didn't do enough in the summer transfer window. And Darwin Nunez is a very expensive, and uh, I believe he will be a good addition to the team. But I've always said that I think he came to the Premier League a year early, because he had to, because Man United were interested. Maybe Chelsea were going to go for him. Liverpool moved quick, and they got the player. But I think another year at Benfica would have been beneficial for Nunez's development, and Liverpool have had to take him early. They've had injuries. But... Ultimately, the big problem with Liverpool is scoring two goals against Real Madrid at Anfield's not bad. That, you, you can't argue with that. Two goals is not bad. And you can't argue with the fact that they, they deserved it. The issue is conceding five. The issue is being absolutely dominated in the midfield in the second half. The issue is the defensive errors. And I don't include Alisson in that. I think Alisson, for me, has been Liverpool's best player this year. And Courtois made a mistake and Alisson made a mistake. So it sort of cancels each other out. But for the other four goals, look, Vinicius Junior's first goal is fantastic. But where's Henderson going and why is Trent getting done? And he got done again and again. Um, Gomez looks a shadow of the potential that he apparently has. Van Dijk doesn't look quite right. Robertson looks tired. That midfield, the 18-year-old who, who has lots of potential, played like an 18-year-old today. We see it with Ganacho at United. One day they're brilliant. One day they're an 18-year-old still learning their trade. You know, he looked like an 18-year-old who was inexperienced against the very experienced Real Madrid midfield. Jordan Henderson's not the player he was. Fabinho's not the player he was. And ultimately, you can get at that Liverpool side. You can get at their midfield and you can get at their defence. And if you're not winning the midfield battle anymore and you can get at the defence, this is why Liverpool are struggling. Everybody knows you can score against Liverpool, whether it's Anfield or away. You can have a chance. And that's because they're not a team anymore that plays a high line and suffocates you and dominates you. They let you play. So... Jurgen Klopp wants to play like the Liverpool of last year and the Liverpool team that's been successful, but he can't get those players to do it. And that's not just down to injury. Um, they need investment in the midfield. Um, and I think if they get that investment in the midfield, their defence will be more solid. The defence is bad for Liverpool, but if your midfield's weak, you can't pick up all the runners. People are running at you. 
They need to sort that midfield out, and that's their biggest issue. Jude Bellingham would be a huge asset to Liverpool. They may well get him. Maybe they've already got him. Maybe Bellingham would go there no matter what because he wants to be part of the project. Maybe they know they've got that, and maybe that's a big step forward to their rebuild next season. But if that Bellingham deal is not done, and that's up in the air, and they don't get that deal, where do you go next? Because you've got to persuade somebody to be part of the project. Liverpool's job now is to get top four. Forget the second leg against Real Madrid. It's over. They ain't, you know, even if you scored three quick goals, they're the comeback kings. They'll find a way. You're out of the Champions League. You're already out of the other trophies. Fourth place cut is what you've got to fight for. Um, and they better make sure they get it because no matter what money they've got in the summer, it's harder to get players when you're not in the Champions League. So Liverpool's job now is to get top four. They've got a game against Man United in a couple of weeks, which will be absolutely huge. But the way they're playing at the moment and the way Man United are defending, I'd fancy us to go there and get a result. It's interesting as well, the parallels between Manchester United and Liverpool, because Manchester United rebuilt teams many times with Sir Alex, who was a great manager, and Jurgen Klopp needs to do that at Liverpool. But also, in more recent times, Man United's up for sale. Interest from Qatar, Sir Jim Radcliffe, viable options. Liverpool were up for sale and now are not up for sale. What's the plan there? Because if FSG is stay staying, they need huge investment. Because if they're staying because they think they can do a jo good job, you're not. I thought the reason you were selling is because you can't live with the Newcastles and the Man Cities in relation to the wealth they have. I actually thought FSG was selling Liverpool because they'd done well, but they knew the future. They, they wouldn't have the resources to compete. So what's going on with that? Um, Liverpool's a bit of a mess at the moment and while that uncertainty reigns it makes it difficult for them to plan for the summer because Jude Bellingham alone would be a very very good signing but he won't be good enough on their own they need more than that they need a lot more than that but look that's a bad result for Liverpool I think everybody thought Liverpool were capable of uh, winning the Champions League even though they'd be massive underdogs they've done it before but, they, but this is a reality last season was a good season for them this season's a very bad season for them the uh, they they just need to embrace it and say that this season's been a bloody nightmare. Let's see if we can get fourth place and then use that as a springboard for the summer. But what they're going to do in the summer is going to be the thing to keep an eye on because I think that team needs at least £200 million spending on it. The makeup of their front positions, they've got options. They need Gakpo and Nunez to perform and get better. Uh, defensively, probably do need some support. Midfield, got to spend big. Games are won and lost in the midfield and Liverpool are losing a lot of games because their midfield isn't what it was. Get your comments in below, smash the like on the video, subscribe, and I'll speak to you on the next one.